what's going on guys nick keelan and i we all went and got this boat and i didn't film anything at the people's house because i didn't know how they feel about it so i brought it back to my house i had the boat right here i'm going to give you guys a little walk through i'm going to cut over to a clip where i show you guys i actually had a 25 horse johnson on the back i went ahead and took it off and put my 24 volt trailer motor system on the back just because it's probably going to be an electric only lake most likely majority of the time other than when i go fishing in the river or something so let's go ahead and do a walkthrough on this boat so here's my great bait wall but here's the 25 horse johnson the boat originally came with i went ahead and took it off in my garage probably mainly going to be using it for like river fishing but probably only going to be using it electric only right now plus i have to really figure out how to get that thing running not the best with motors he says it already ran but i couldn't get it started but i really haven't tried that hard it'll probably be up and running pretty soon if I wanted to, but let's go ahead and get back into the rest of the boat video. See you guys there. So right here, I had the 25 horse Johnson on the back. I have my 86 pounds thrust, 24 volt motor on the back right now. Uh, let me give you a quick detailed view of what's on the inside. We have a Minn Kota digital onboard battery charger to where all I gotta do is plug that up and then it'll go ahead and plug my batteries. Like I said, I have my 86 pound thrust 24 volt motor right here. My light on the back so the game board doesn't give me a hard time. If you guys know anything about fishing, you'll know that transducer right there goes to a good fish finder. So go ahead and get a good walk around. Take this. Right here is my swivel seat, but it also underneath, I have my swivel seat right here, but I flip it up. Okay. Let me take the seat off first. That'd be a good idea. I have my live well system right here. I do have me a pump going in to keep the fish alive. And I have a bilge pump to pump water out of the boat. This is a pretty big little tank right here. I, I promise you I could fit a couple of hogs down in that thing. So plenty of live well storage right here I have a built-in radio some switches a cigarette lighter I can plug in a couple of USB ports for my phone I will turn this radio on in just a minute but plenty of storage right here as well go ahead and go to the other side check this out this is one of my favorite things about this boat I have me a rod locker system put me some rods in my boat so I don't have to haul them on top there's my speakers for my stereo. I have plenty of room for life jackets to extra tackle. I have another one of these. I mean, that is big. That's a lot of tackle can fit in there. So I have a nice little swivel seat. Go around to the front. I have a low rants hook seven. So that's the nicest fish finder I've ever had. And I also as well, I have a 101 pound thrust Minn Kota 36 volt system. And I have my batteries up under this. I don't really want to take that out right now because that was a pain getting all three batteries in there and hooked up 36 volt. That was not easy to say the least. I am pretty excited about this boat. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, look at it from the side. It's called the last dime. It is a 16 foot restored V-hole, an old Starcraft. But this thing's basically sitting up like a bass boat right now. There are a few other really cool features on this boat. Let me go ahead and show you the front. Check out these green and red LED lights right here. Well, just in case and plus, I got an extra red and green light on the front. In case the game board doesn't like that and i got a light and somebody told me that those led lights are not certifiably legal but i don't know and then check this out i have leds running around the whole inside of the boat that's going to be looking really cool at night i'll probably come out here later tonight when it's a little darker and turn these on for you guys so you can get a better look at them but everything's connected to a switch. Turn them off. I have my bilge pump. 
I have my pump, my live well. Like I said, I have a, a couple of USB imports right here and a 12 volt cigarette lighter. So all in all, I am super excited for this boat. Let me go ahead and hop in. I had to switch cameras, so I know this one's a little suckier quality, but I wanted to be able to hook up Bluetooth to this radio and I went ahead and looked up some royalty free music so YouTube doesn't give me any strikes on playing anything worth a flip. So the song may not be good, but let's go ahead and test the stereo out. <laughs> Works great. So the Georgia Bassmasters channel is about to be growing here with a bigger boat, a better boat. I went ahead and just spent the money that I needed to spend to have something nice. I'm tired of having an old raggedy old John boat. The one I had was a 1971 model. So I just needed something a little nicer. Shout out to Hunter. He was the one that built this thing and I bought it from him. He put in a lot of hard work, but I think he was just a college kid that needed some money. But I mean, this boat right here was just decked out about six months ago. So everything, the wiring, everything's brand new on it. The boat isn't brand new, it's new to me. But I'm so excited to take this thing out to the lake, try out that 101 pound thrust trolling motor. Hopefully this 86 pound in the back still pushes it pretty good. But I'm gonna have plenty of room to walk around, check this out. around the front deck. And then right here, this little compartment was mainly built to sit in. That way you can work the troll motor. And it actually has the seat that I put inside the hole right here. But like I said, thank you so much for all the support. Got some big things happening on the channel. We're growing. We're at 4,000 subscribers. I got a good little family here. I'm on the road to 5K is my first goal. And then 10K is my goal as of 2021. Have some uh, some good collabs. Maybe me and, uh, me and Norm have been talking about going and fishing. Uh, me and Larry have been talking about hooking up again. Maybe me, Norm, and Larry can all collab three together for a video. But thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to take this boat out. I'm in the process of registering the trailer, getting a VIN number for it because it has not been registered. I have to change over the registration in my name on the boat. Go ahead and get this thing ready. I'm excited. And like I said, hopefully in the next video, I will have this thing out on the water. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you guys want to see this thing out on the water, let me know. And uh, until the next time, see you guys.